Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about how to handle a no match event for prompt and collect. Now you might be asking why I am doing for prompt and collect. Okay, so just to give you example, uh, one of the scenario which uh, has been bring to my attention or I might have forgot <laughs> uh, being a long time. So what we are doing over here is we have uh, one prompt and collect where we have defined the what is a the grammar of six digit uh, so let me show you the grammar uh, so it's six digit okay and we are playing a welcome prompt like please provide the uh, employee of six digit no input like i didn't get that sorry that's not a six digit okay uh going back to the simulator hi please provide six digit employee id okay so if you see over here if i give a no input event sorry i didn't get that hi please provide six digit employee id so it does play no input so if i give no match event sorry the input is not of six digit hi please provide six digit employee id now, if I give input like one, two, three, uh, it should go as a no match event, right? But what happens is call get disconnected. Okay. So now why the call gets get uh, getting disconnected? So I have to dig a little bit. So when I go to the VXML page, right? Uh, so we have used the inbuilt grammar digits. So if I go and show you the grammar over here, digits, okay and we have used the exact length of six okay length equal to seat six now if user does not provide exact length of six right so what happened is error bad fetch event is thrown rather than the no match event so that's why the call get disconnected now to solve this issue right or to how to handle the no match event uh, in prompt and collect what we will do is we will change this to minimum so one to let's say in the test case scenario if it is one to ten then you can use ten okay or you can use six or whatever you feel like right how many or how much uh, or not how much uh, what has been configured as a test thing okay so what do we required also we required two simple thing one is no match count variable so no match count we will give it zero and we will require another one is employee id length right now give it as zero okay now what we will do so once we come over here we will use one data tag let's connect to this one put it aside okay so let's name it like validate emp id okay now first thing what we will do we will assign the length of what we have collected so we'll assign to employee length and the source variable will be the prompt and collect name its value uh, value and then sorry it's not a sign it's a length okay uh, and we will get the length of uh, user input right now what we'll do we will check if and else so if the equals uh, where is that employee length is equal to six okay then go to success or is success if it is failure right so what we will do is we will uh, 
increment the counter of no match count so let's say one and now if and else now if no match count so let's say we give a retry of two times right where is no match count no match count equal to oh sorry less than two we will do something else we will do something okay so we will name it as max try and we will name it as retry okay and success failure is there and if it is success we will play the prompt if it is a retry then we will play a prompt like retry and the prompt will be no match i think yeah no match and let's do retry over here and it will go to again Uh, what is that name? Uh, validate employee ID. And if it is a max try, we will just disconnect. Okay. Let's do that way. Or no, let's play something. So we'll play hang up. Something like that. So let's create a new prompt hang up. Sorry, you have reached max try. Hanging up. Close this one. This one over here. And then we will end the call. Okay, all done. Let's move a little bit pretty okay no one thing is pending this is end. okay so now let's give a try okay let's run it please provide six digit employee id okay so now let's give one two three sorry the input is not of six digit sorry you have reached max try Hanging Wait, up. Why? Less than two increment zero to one. It is less than two. It should go to retry. And from retry, it should. Oh, it should go to collect employee. Okay, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that is how uh, to handle a no match event. Uh, for prompt and collect where we are using built-in grammar hopefully you like this video thank you